tell them about your diet, please. Um, so, go through my day. I eat quite a lot, but not a lot of bad. So, wake up in the morning with my son, take him down for breakfast. Tell my partner does my daughter. Um, we have our week to bix about half seven. Um, then go into football, have a little bit more. There's like beans, eggs, toast, cereals again, fruits, that kind of thing. But I just, because I've already had my week to bix, have a bit of toast and maybe a banana. Um, then dinners, we have like rices, pastas, chickens, lasagnas, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I'll go home after the afternoon session and then for me tail again I'll have a good meal whatever it is that we have in our house and then overnight that's so make sure all my meals throughout the day are good my little snacks throughout the day are good and then overnight don't mind treat yourself to a little mars bar or something like that but um fizzy drinks and stuff i i do not drink them at all um i literally drink water juice and milk yeah. i'm quite boring like that so that's that is literally that's literally all I all I drink. Um, yeah, I would say mine's pretty similar to be honest. I'll yeah. wake up, have a food of football, maybe some scrambled eggs, and obviously go out to training. And obviously, once you come back from training, I'm normally very hungry because obviously you're working very hard in training. You're burning a lot of calories. I like having some protein after after <coughs> training, maybe chicken, obviously salad, rice, like sweet potato, things like that. Then say so when I go home, I'll normally have a big meal at maybe five ish, so it fills me up. But yeah, I'm similar to that. I'm not a fan of fizzy drinks. I normally just drink like a bowl of big water from the shop or, or like say juice, things like that. And then once it gets later on, maybe have a protein shake or a protein bar or something like that. Because I feel like, especially now I'm getting a little bit older, I feel like it affects my performance. If I'm, just say if I go and grab a pack of Harry Bros or something from the shop and I just say I bet them, I think I'll wake up in the morning and I'll feel, I'll feel like I bet them. Do you know what I mean? feel guilty for having it? I wouldn't say guilty, but I feel like I'm, like the next day I feel sloppy, do you know what I mean? Like when I'm training, I feel like you can feel it a little bit. I don't know if that's in my head or if that's not, but, so yeah, I like I normally just stick to a protein shake or a protein bar and then that'll do me. Uh, today when we met the Oldham players, at the start I felt a bit nervous and a bit scared oh. that um, what uh, during it I started asking questions and I got a bit more, um, like, I got a bit more, got a bit more into it and then and then at the end it turned out I did really good and um, <coughs> and then I, I got to get something signed and um, I'm, I, and I'm, re- I'm just really happy that I finally got to meet Tollett and Matt. Yeah it really helps with like oh, what, what they talked about the diets and like it also helps my, fo- my football career and my friends saying like I just need to keep on training and stuff like that and all that so it's really it's really good yeah been a massive impact for the children in year six and um, we've been having a think about careers for the future um, and the players gave a lot of insight into what it means to be um, professional footballers um, we've also been thinking about healthy lifestyle in science um, so the players were really informative for the children thinking about uh, living a healthy lifestyle and having a healthy diet. Um, the children really enjoyed meeting the players, so thank you. Hi, um, thanks for having us here with Zion. Um, we really enjoyed answering all your questions, it was intriguing. Um, so yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah, we're really looking forward to seeing you at Boundary Park in the future.